Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Malik Dory, and we are in sub. I'm grouping with a level 60 enchanter, and I am level 54. That's that's pretty much it for for what the video is. <laughs> I'm uh, just going to play it in the background as we talk about a few things, actually. So... I've been wanting to do more videos than I currently do. I don't upload on a regular schedule, mainly because of the fact that I have to travel to town to do my uploads, and I don't get to town very often, and I don't record as much as I honestly should. I've been thinking about bringing back the style of videos that I used to do with chords, where instead of doing voiceovers, I play a character during that day, and I record what I do, at the items that I get, the levels that I achieve, that kind of thing, and what I hope to get on that character or work for, that kind of thing. If you've known me for any amount of time, my channel, uh, my character, <laughs> you know that I have a lot of alts. It's just the way I am. I don't have a main per se other than what is listed in my guild so that they know who to distribute loot to whenever I use my DKP towards that said loot. But other than that, I honestly don't know what I would consider my main. Uh, main to a lot of people is their level 60 character or their level, their highest level character. But for me, uh, my main is whatever I enjoy to play at that any given time. And if it takes me a long time to get to level 60 if I ever get that character to level 60 it's not something that I am setting as my main goal do I want equipment do I want to raid do I want all those things yes but honestly when I log on if a friend needs me to be on my cleric I'm playing my cleric if a friend needs me to be on my rogue I'm on my rogue and that's what I play. I play to enjoy the game with my friends, which compromise not only myself, but all of us compromise to play tunes within the same level range so we don't feel like we're leaving anyone out. And I, I feel that's the best way to play the game, to be honest. So... Yeah, you may see me never have a level 60, though that's kind of odd to say, seeing that I am so close to level 60 now on my cleric. Um, but I, I play him only whenever he's needed. I did some grouping tonight with him, got him a little bit closer to that level 60 thing. 59 is horrible. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, this group, uh, myself and the Enchanter, I made a ton of experience grouping with them. I never thought that I would make that much because I thought that the Enchanter would be sapping all the experience. But in reality, the, the fact that we were steadily going through and killing and all of that, um, pretty much them holding me on their shoulders and saying, hey, just do some things and you'll get experience uh, I did more than that but but it, it felt like I was definitely being carried the whole time I couldn't have done that without them they could definitely do it without me so uh, there there is that I, I've been having a conundrum with how long of videos I should do I'm not going to set a limit for my videos to be 10 or 15 minutes. Um, that said, limits might be something that I need because currently I'm not uploading videos because I'm working so hard to make things perfect that in reality can't be perfect 
because of how the game is, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, What I mean by that is, hey, there are a lot of people who don't know how to get around Guck. I want to do a video of how to get around Upper and Lower Guck. But you know how much of a pain that is logistically to do a video for that? (laughs) I mean, the problem is, is getting people lost trying to figure out where you are and how you got to the place where you're actually right back where you started. Um, And what I mean by that is that if you go straight to the Squire, you can go to the drop down and then you're back over at the warden, which is right next to this, the, the, um, the scryer. So, I mean, you have that. What I was thinking about doing is maybe doing a choose your adventure and the choose your adventure is showing you how to get to each individual named camp in the zone. And then you deciding, where you want to go and kill after that. But mostly just, here's how you get to the squire. Here's how you get to the scryer. Here's how you get to the warden and the shin lord and the fungus and, um, and the summoner and the AC and all of that. But then it comes back around to, you know, whenever I was doing these zones for the first time, this is what I learned that I shouldn't do if I'm the puller or those kind of things. And this is what I, I charmed as a pet whenever I was playing my enchanter. Those, those kind of things I, I would, I, I would like to say, but I feel that to get that video accomplished, I don't say any of that stuff. I say, here is the, or got zone line, but uh, do I end there, or do I say here's the lower oak zone line? By the way, if you follow this path, there's a mob that stands next to a room. That if you pull it, it's gonna pull the two red shaman to you. That will probably beat your face in and wipe your group uh, if you don't watch yourself. <laughs> Uh, or you may never even make it back to your group if you pulled that one mob. That kind of thing. I don't know. I, would you rather have the details of that kind of thing? Or would you rather just have a video showing you how to get around the stupid zone zone, and you figure it out on your own? Because I understand that people who are subscribed to me, that not everyone is a newbie. Not everyone knows, uh, doesn't, uh, not every one of you doesn't have an issue with knowing how to get around Seb or knowing how to get around Guck or any of those zones. But there are people who have been playing this game for 20 years who still don't know how to get around Guck. So, I mean, for for you who know the zone, what would you rather have me do? For those of you who don't know the zones, what would you rather have me do? And I was thinking about putting a poll on it on the video for this, but I mean, that's only one thing. What do you want me to do for epics? Do you want me to just show you individual fights as they happen? Uh, Do you want me to show you milestones? Because... The way quests are laid out on the wiki are milestones. You've completed this full section, that's a milestone. Or, would you rather me do each individual section in its own, or each individual item in that section as its own video, and then just put them all in a playlist so you can see them that way. Uh, That would make for shorter videos. And you could skip to the part that you're on and say, hey, um, I just did this and now I'm on my way to do this. What do I do here? And this is that shows you what you do there, that kind of thing. I, I guess I spent a lot of time thinking. Uh, also a lot of time doing, but then I'm so picky that I delete the, the video that I recorded for it. Because I feel I could have done it better. Um, That all said, I do have some videos coming out next week. 
Uh, one of them is for the quest called the Thex Mallet, which gives you the Reaper of the Dead. Uh, for those of you who raid, a lot of people are required now in guilds to have a Reaper of the Dead. Because um, even if you're a melee, if the tank is going down, you could target the tank and you can hit them with a complete heal. The quest is actually very simple. Um, doesn't take very much time, and if you have a Dark Elf friend, they could probably do um, the turn-ins for you. I, I think maybe some of the parts are no drop, but uh, honestly, it's not that hard of a quest. If you have to buy it, it's like 600 plat. It costs more than that to recharge. But also, uh, in doing that quest, there is a sub-quest to that, a pre-quest, if you will, that I've never heard of until I started doing the quest and found out that that sub-quest or that pre-quest is actually pretty insane that I haven't heard of the item that you get from that. So... That video is going to be coming out um, for sure this this coming week after after the weekend is over. Um, also, I am going to be doing the show night epic the wrong way uh, or the right way, however you want to see it. Uh, the wrong way is spending uh, nineteen hundred plat that you don't have to spend. Just so that you can get the lore uh, for those parts of the quest, and uh, and and yeah. So uh, the other video that you should be seeing hopefully this week is the Dark Ford Drummer. I I understand it's not a very hard quest. Actually, it's pretty simple. It's just a lot of grinding of Crusaders and Ritualists, and then going around and getting the the other parts like. Um, the Enchanted Platinum, or the, the helmets from the Freeport Guards, those kind of things. Just going around and doing busy stuff. But uh, I want to have a full set of that armor on Malagdori as just a, hey, I did it kind of thing, and then do the quest with it. So I'll have that video which is kind of a prequel to the epic quest that I'm going to be starting with Malagdori after that point. I have other quests I want to do for him. I would lo love to do all of the blacksmithing for the Nagata uh, from the Garzakor quest. Um, and then do that quest, uh, complete it. I already have the, the Chromium Ore and the Star Metal. Uh, actually, I have a few Star Metals lingering around several different characters, so... Definitely want to do that. And I'm I'm planning on making Malagdori my main as far as my guild is concerned. Um, uh, starting in January, that's who I'm going to have as my main. And I kind of like our system in our guild. <laughs> um, for those who don't know what guild I'm talking about because Malagdori hasn't been tagged as per this video. Uh, as regard... They have a rule that you can't change your, your main or your second main um, until three months, I think it is. So, th like in January, three months from January 1st is when they'll do the next change. And I don't think I'm going to be changing it, but if for any reason I happen to get a level 60 and I want to make another tune my second main, at least I could throw the DKP towards the second character. Um, instead of having it all go to one. But yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> so I guess to sum this, this video up, um, do you want me to do longer videos, shorter videos? Would you like a daily video of just whatever hijinks I'm getting into? Like, if I'm working on doing... Uh, a video for a quest. Would you like to see like the behind the scenes kind of thing of what I'm doing? Like just the raw crap that I'm doing uh, to get that video done. Like uh, I stepped here and I, I wanted to step over here instead. That kind of thing. Um, I was walking down the hallway but now I think that actually showing the, the front of the building would be better. So this, I'm going to go ahead and re-record that kind of stuff. 
Or would you... Would you rather see, like, a weekly vlog of all the stuff that I did for the week uh, in a request towards the progression of of making the walkthrough videos that I do? Do you want to see long epic videos or short epic videos which you, uh, and all that kind of thing? Anything that I touched on in the video, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. I may throw a poll in somewhere, just saying... These are other things. <laughs> I don't know. I probably won't do that. Um, take 237. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the videos. And um, I'll see you in game. This is Cypher Dick. Peace out.